welcome to your online session. Today, we are going to start our first chapter of science and that is food. Where does it come from? Yes, so before going on the chapter, we have to know that what is exactly food is. So, what is the food? Food, whatever we eat from the morning breakfast to the dinner. It means whatever we eat like chapati, dal, rice, even any juices, even curd, everything that is called the food. Food which mainly provides us energy to the to do the various kind of work like walking, talking, singing, dancing, writing, even when we are sleeping at that time also your internal body also work. You know our heart always pump the blood, your kidney always filter the urine and excretion, removal of the waste product from the body and so many and your brain is always a uh, brain is a thinking organ so for all these organs for the internal activities of the body we need some energy and from where we get that energy from the food so yes there are whatever we eat from the morning breakfast to the dinner any kind of dish any kind of liquid and that provides us energy for the living for the living beings so that is called our food so if we prepare any kind of dish then we need some ingredient yes like when you cook boiled rice whatever you need your mama need rope some raw material to prepare any kind of dish and that is your raw rice rice water and some one table tablespoon ghee yes and little bit of salt and to prepare any other dish like ice cream you need milk sugar and some kind of flavor if you want to like vanilla essence strawberry flavor that is that we need to make an ice cream or any dish so to prepare any kind of dish we need some ingredients so ingredients are those substances which we use to prepare any dish and you know how food provide us energy there are some special nutrients provided by the food and the main nutrients of the food are protein vitamin fat carbohydrate and minerals what are there protein vitamins fat carbohydrate and the minerals so four basic major protein vitamin fat and carbohydrate and the other are minerals minerals may be variety of minerals they may be micronutrients and they may be macronutrient micronutrient means jinki hame jyada quantity mein requirement hai hamari body ko aur macronutrient jinki hame kam quantity sorry macro means jyada quantity mein jiski requirement hai wo mineral aate hain aur micro mein jinki kam quantity mein requirement hai so all these nutrient five basic nutrient we get from our food so that provide energy to the various kind of work to the body so we go on the ingredient ingredient are any substance or material that are required to produce a dish that are called ingredient an example i told you so many example like the ice cream and to prepare ice cream we need milk sugar and any kind of flavor and other to make a chapati you need some atta that is flour and water and some little bit salt so food material and their sources you know we human being and some animal most of the animal they can't prepare their food only the green plant which contain 
chlorophyll in them they can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis but the animal and some kind of plant they cannot prepare their food so we all are depend for our food on the others like the main source of the food that is the plant and the other that is the animal so directly or indirectly we totally depend on the plant because these animals are also depend on the plants as well so the main source of food that is plant and the second is animal so in the plant we can eat various kind of plant product like the root some kind some root of some special plant leaves of some special plant stem of some and fruits you know well seeds the cereals which we eat that is all seeds and flowers just say cauliflower so you know plant product who eat plant product according to the food habits animals are divided into some categories and the first is herbivore herbivore are those animal which eat plant and plant product so with herbivore are those animal which directly depend on the plant totally depend on the plant they can eat their bark they can eat their leaves and so so what are the example of the herbivores there are deer and rabbit and cow these are herbivores then animals sources kya kya hai that is milk you know milk is a complete food because milk can provide all the nutrient through the milk only except the fiber fiber ko chhod ke hame sare nutrient milk se mil kar milte hain so that is called the complete food so milk we get from the cow buffalo goat so that is the animal source what is the source of the milk animals and meat fish poultry eggs etc we and the honey yes honey also we get from the animal so animal which eat other animal animal which eat flesh raw flesh jo khate hain meat khate hain that is called the carnivores so animal those animal which eat other animal or their flesh that is that are called carnivores so and some other kind of animals are also there which can eat both plant product and the animal product and that is their choice like the human being dog cat it is depend on them what they want to eat we can eat some plant product also we can eat some animal product also so that are all so those animal which can eat both plant and animal are called omnivores yes so in this way we will move forward so some plant act as a source of food ingredients such as fruits you know what so many kind of food we eat vegetable grain cereals which mainly provide us carbohydrate and the pulses pulses means dane dal jo p for pulses p for protein pulses are rich in protein so some plants eat we can eat some plants product like the roots stem leaf flower seeds and fruit so there are some examples of edible parts of plant you know what are the edible parts what do you mean by the edible parts you know edible parts some special parts of plant that we can eat that are called edible eat se bana edible jo khane layak hai special kyunki sometime we can eat more than one part of a single plant let's eat carrot 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 kya hai that is the root but hum root bhi khate hain and sometime iski jo leaves hai uski bhi aap sabzi bana ke kha sakte hain to aise hi beet root beet root to aapko pata hi hai it provide lots of iron to your body 
so when you eat wheat root and the carrot it provides blood to your body so ye bahtareen antioxidants hain so root of the plants like the carrot radish means muli turnip shalgam sweet potato shakarkar and the beet root chukundar are eaten so in the form of so there are some example of the different parts of plant that we can eat that are called edible parts so root ke example there are carrot radish turnip sweet potato and the beet root so you can see here and now stem stem mein broccoli broccoli इस तरह से डेवलप की जाती है कि उसका जो फ्लावर है वो डेवलप ना हो और ब्रोकली किस कलर में होती है दैट इज ग्रीन इन कलर जस्ट लाइक द स्टेम और लीफ तो ब्रोकली स्टेम ब्रोकली का कौन सा पार्ट हम करते हैं दैट इज द स्टेम नाउ बैम्बो शूट्स यू नो बैम्बो शूट्स की भी डिशेस प्रिपेयर की जाती है एंड शुगर कैन शुगर कैन गन्ना विच Which, which is also used the juice of the sugar can we can use to prepare sugar also and potato you know potato that is also a stem don't go on the shape of this these are stem but aapko pata hai na potato grow under the soil so ye hai is the stem jo ki under ground hai aur upar aati hai leaves so is stem of certain plants are eaten For example, the stem of sugar cane, the nut plant, is eaten. is also used to make the sugar and stem, and the flower of the banana plant is cooked and eaten in the different parts of India. And certain plants have undergone stem that we eat, like potato, onion. Onion is also a stem, but we also use the other part of the onion. That is the leaf part. You know, spring onion, hari piyaz, jab jisse kehte hain, wo rings wali. That is called spring onion. Wo jo kholo pahe jaise. So potato, onion part. This, ye jo onion bulb jo hai, that is the stem. Or jo uski jo leaves hum khate hain, jo spring onion ke alaka hai, that are the leaves. And garlic, ginger, these all are stem. So please remember that potato, onion, garlic, lasun, and the ginger, adra. These come in the form of stem. So for this, these plant we can eat their stem. And now leaves. You know leaves. Cabbage is a healthy person. आपके जितने भी fast food में आपने देखा होगा चाउमीन etc. कैबेज इसका एक मेन इंग्रेडिएंट होता है सो लीव्स ऑफ सम प्लांट लाइक लैटिक स्पिनच कैबेज पत्ता गोभी कॉरियडर धनिया मिंट पुदीना एंड बेजिल बेजिल तुलसी आर ईटन सो लीव यू नो हम लीव्स में मेथी एंड पालक भी आल्सो यूज सो स्पिनच पालक मेथी Which provide iron to the body, and now edible flowers. You know, not only the rose and the marigold; these are the flowers. Even that are also used to making kulkan. So, काफी सारे हम जो flower को direct हम as a vegetable use करते हैं, so वो आते हैं cauliflower. हम cauliflower का especially जो flower part है, that we can eat. और broccoli सनफ्लावर सीड में जैसे राइस एंड मेज 
वीट पल्सेस पल्सेस जितनी दालें जितने भी आप जो वीट कॉर्न मिलेट सनफ्लावर मेज ये दीज ऑल आर सीड्स एंड वी कैन यूज दीज एज अ सीरियल एंड सम टाइम वी कैन गेट ऑयल फ्रॉम इट सो सीड लाइक पल्सेस लाइक मूंग बीन्स मूंग की दाल जो ग्रीन वाली किडनी बीन्स जो कि राजमा होती है व्हिच इज योर फेवरेट राजमा चावल एंड चिकन पी चिकन पी शायद अरहर की दाल थी एंड सीरियल सीरियल में आते हैं सी फॉर सीरियल एंड सी फॉर कार्बोहाइड्रेट सीरियल आर दोस मेड व्हिच मेनली प्रोवाइड अस कार्बोहाइड्रेट टू आवर बॉडी सो दैट इज व्हीट मेज एंड द राइस व्हीट मेज एंड राइस दैट वी ईट आर सीड्स ऑफ दैट प्लांट हम इन प्लांट्स के कौन सा पार्ट को खाते हैं दैट इज द सीड ओके सो सी फॉर सीरियल सीरियल व्हिच मेनली प्रोवाइड अस कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंड पी फॉर पल्सेस पल्सेस मींस दालें व्हिच मेनली प्रोवाइड अस पी फॉर प्रोटीन सो पल्सेस आर रिच इन प्रोटीन एंड सीरियल्स आर रिच इन कार्बोहाइड्रेट सो दैट इज इजी फॉर यू नाउ एंड नाउ फ्रूट्स यस दैट इज योर फेवरेट पार्ट वेजिटेबल में तो यू आर चूजी मम्मा आई डोंट लाइक प्रिंसल मम्मा आई डोंट लाइक बिटर गॉड मीन्स करेला तो आपको सारी वेजिटेबल्स खानी चाहिए टू बी फिट हेल्दी विद द ग्लोइंग स्किन एंड बिकम टॉलर सो प्लीज ईट एवरी वेजिटेबल डोंट बी चूजी एंड एवरी सीजनल फ्रूट सीजनल फ्रूट जो पर्टिकुलर सीजन में जो फ्रूट मिलते हैं डोंट ट्राई टू ईट स्टोरेज फ्रूट जैसे कि कोल्ड स्टोरेज में दो सो प्लीज इट सीजनल फ्रूट एंड कम हेल्थ सो फ्रूट दैट प्रोवाइड मेनली फाइबर टू आर बॉडी हमें जो फ्रूट का जो पल्प होता है वो हमें लॉट्स ऑफ फाइबर प्रोवाइड करता है दैट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू गेट रिमूव द सॉलिड वेस्ट फ्रॉम आर बॉडी सो एप्पल दैट इज नॉट एप्पल दैट इज एप्पल पियर टोमेटो ग्रैप्स चेरीज एंड ऑरेंजेस एंड लॉट्स ऑफ अदर फ्रूट्स विच यू की सो दीज फ्रॉम दीज प्लांट वी कैन एड देयर फ्रूट पार्ट एप्पल बनाना वॉटरमेलन चेरीज मैंगो पीज पीज इज ऑल्सो अ फ्रूट ऑफ पी प्लांट मटर के जो दाने हैं दैट इज द फ्रूट ऑफ पीज प्लांट एंड वेन दे बिकम ड्राई देन ही उनका सीड भी बनेगा एंड दैट इज लेट किम्बर दैट इज किम्बर खीरा किम्बर ओके एंड दैट इज वॉटर गॉट लॉकी विच इज वेरी नेसेसरी आपको पता है ना रामदेव बाबा ऑल्सो टू सेट दैट लॉकी इज वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू तो आपको अगर पत्ते होना है या हेल्दी रहना है स्किन ग्लोइश करनी है तो आप लौकी का जूस भी ले सकते हैं विथ सम ब्लैक्स with some rocks also okay and uh, like the different plant plant parts animal to serve as source of food that is not about the main food sources about the animal so recently we have learned about the plant source and then there are mainly six type and now and in the plant source there are some spices also in spices can use the cardamom and clove cardamom elaichi clove long haldi turmeric and chili jo red chili flakes wagera aap use karte hain and these all and the dalchini and the other thing these are spices also we get from the plant so there are mainly different kind of plant product that we can eat okay so now we eat Which part of animal we can eat? So, what are the animal product? So, first of all, animal product like the meat, egg, milk, chicken, cheese, butter. These are the dairy product. Curd, cheese, butter. These are the dairy product which is prepared by the milk and eaten by the human beings. So, meat of the animal like goat, chicken, fish. and prawn these are commonly eaten 
एंड यू नो द सी फूड सी फूड में आ जाता है आपके प्रॉन आ जाता है आपके फिश आ जाती है एंड सो मैनी थिंग सो Cottage cheese, we get the common method of making paneer, including 
adding some lemon juice or some vinegar in, into it when you boil the milk when it is completely boiled on the high on the high temperature you can add 1 cup of vinegar into the 1 kg or 2 kg milk or you can add 3 to 4 spoon of lemon juice into the milk so when you add lemon juice or vinegar the milk will be separate into two parts because milk is not a single substance milk is a mixture of water and the fat so upper part will be flowing there will be fat completely fat will be floating on the water so water will be remain in the vessel aur jo complete jo solid part hai wo fat ke roop mein aapko mil jayega and you can hang that and water will be removed from it and you can wash it and you can press it when you press that excess of water will remove from the paneer and you can take that paneer in the fridge and you will get the fresh paneer prepared at home that is very simple my mama also used to make paneer at home and me also so then the liquid portion of the milk is drained off तो लिक्विड पोर्शन जो वाटर है वो रिमूव कर दिया जाता है एंड द कंप्लीट सॉलिड पार्ट दैट इज द पनीर दैट इज रिच इन फैट एंड प्रोटीन एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड द गर्डनिंग द प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड द गर्डनिंग ओके नाउ द चीज चीज इज मेड फ्रॉम द कर्डल मिल्क ऑफ काउ गॉड शीप एंड द बफू कई बच्चे इसको शिप बोल जाते हैं दैट इज शीप शिप तो होती है जो पानी वाली शिप होती है ओके दैट इज शिप तो पीपल लिविंग इन द डेजर्ट आल्सो ड्रिंक कैमल्स मिल्क यू नो डेजर्ट एरिया में काव तो नहीं है है ना काव तो वो क्या क्वालिटी नॉर्मल नहीं है तो यहां पे क्या मिलता है कैमल ही मिलता है और यू नो कैमल के मिल्क को कभी भी गर्म करके यूज नहीं करते उस चीज के लिए ही यूज करते हैं अदरवाइज इसमें बैक्टीरिया का ज्यादा ज्यादा लग जाता है वो जैसे फट जाए एंड मिल्क मोस्टली है yak milk also or mountain people also use yak milk so that is the other thing or normally generally we people are you only buffalo and cow cream cream is made by the collecting on the top of fatty layer of the milk cream kya hoti hai uski jo malai hoti hai milk ki that is jo complete jo fat hota hai wo cream hoti hai aur isse hum घी में भी कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं नाउ बटर बटर इज मेड फ्रॉम चर्निंग फ्रेश वेन यू चर्न द मिल्क और द कर्ड द होल बटर विल सेपरेट ऑन द मिल्क सो नाउ वॉट डू एनिमल ईट आई नो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द फूड हैबिट इन द अर्लियर इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द चैप्टर आई टोल्ड यू there are some category of the animal according to their food habit i recently told you that that are herbivore that eat only the plant product and second are omnivore that eat both plant and animals and other are carnivore that only eat other animals so can you see the picture here aisa nahi hai ki agar main grass khane wala sirf rabbit hai there are डियर ऑल्सो देर आर था ऑल्सो देर आर जिरा ऑल्सो बट एक चीज को खाने वाला एक नहीं है तो जब वन थिंग इज ईटन बाय ओनली वन दैट इज कॉल्ड द फूड चेन और जब एक को खाने वाले एक से ज्यादा एवेलेबल है तो यहाँ पे एक मिक्स फूड चेन बनती है दैट इज कॉल्ड द फूड वेव सो वी विल स्टडी इट आफ्टर अल सो एनिमल कैन बी क्लासीफाइड मेनली इन टू थ्री ब्रॉड कैटेगरी that you even as can be seen in the images above okay herbivores in herbivore there are cow deer horse giraffe squirrel gilahar and the butterfly these are examples of the herbivore which can eat from the plant product so you can see here that is the squirrel and that is the pods these come and the giraffe also come in the herbivore group okay and butterfly is also butterfly also suck the nectar the sweet juice of a plant but 
हनी कौन प्रिपेयर करेगा हनी ओके ना द कार्निवॉल्स कार्निवॉल एनिमल्स विच ईट अदर एनिमल विच कैन ईट रोप फ्लैश और मीट सो ओके कार्निवल मीन्स क्या होता है मीट और वॉर सो नाउ यू कैन सी लाइन टाइगर जैकार वल्चर आउल ईगल स्नैक एंड स्पाइडर दैट ऑल स्पाइडर दे कैन ईट अदर इंसेक्ट सो दिस इज दीज एनिमल आर फॉर्म इन कार्निवल ग्रुप ओके सो दैट इज द वल्चर दैट ऑल्सो ईट अदर ओके वैसे वल्चर कार्निवल में भी आया है और ये वल्चर उसमें भी आएगा इसके वेंचर्स में विच ईट डेड एंड डिकेन ऑर्गेनिजम वेन एन एनिमल डाई दे कैन वल्चर कैन ईट दैट फ्रॉम दैट बॉडी ओके सो दे कैन ईट डेड एनिमल ऑल्सो तो नॉर्मली अगर हम बोले तो कार्डिकॉल में भी आ सकता है पर स्पेशल कैटेगरी में इसे इसके वेंचर्स में डिवाइड किया गया है एंड नाउ ऑमनीवर्स ओमनीवर एनिमल विच एन ईट बोथ द प्लांट एंड द अदर प्रोडक्ट मीन्स प्लांट एंड द एनिमल प्रोडक्ट सो दे आर आर बियर सो दैट इज बेयर नॉट बियर दैट इज बेयर रैकून क्रो एंड ह्यूमन बींग आर सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द ओमनीवर्स सो दिस इज द बेयर दे कैन ईट अदर एनिमल्स ऑल्सो एंड दे कैन दे लव हनी ऑल्सो एंड हनी we get from the honey is a part of animal so honey we prepare the honey so that is the animal product but they can eat some bark also tree bark also so ye dono kha sakte hain theek hai iske vengers and the decomposers i told you recently the iske vengers is the special category mainly that all the animal are divided into three category herbivore carnivore and the omnivore but some special category are इंस्टीड ऑफ हंटिंग लाइव एनिमल ये किसी लाइव एनिमल पे हंट या शिकार करने से बजाय ये किसी डेड ऑर्गेनिजम जो ऑलरेडी डेड बॉडी पड़ी है मकामा उसी से अपना फूड गेन कर लेते हैं तो इनको ज़्यादा मेहनत नहीं करनी होगी क्योंकि इनके पास हंटिंग जैसे कि लायन है शार्क क्लोज तो वो सब इनके पास नहीं होता दे कैन ईट डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द डेड बॉडी ओके बट डिपेंड कर रहे हैं मीट एंड अदर एनिमल पर भी तो इंस्टीड ऑफ हंटिंग लाइव birds and animal eat the flesh of the other animal that are already dead jo ki naturally dead hue hain ya other animal uski body chhod gaye hain us way se bhi apna food gain kar sakte hain so vulture is such bird to vulture normally hum carnivore mein le rahe the kyunki wo meat hi kha raha hai par wo dead body se kha raha hai that is called that is why that is called scavenger okay well so these animal and the bird are called scavenger some other organism feed on the destroy destroy or decompose dead plants and animal that is the fungi and the bacteria so ye jo fungi hai is tarah ki hote hain jisme mushroom bhi aate hain fungi and the bacteria are example of such organism okay these organism are called the decomposer ye to fungi aur bacteria hai na ये क्या करते हैं आप ये सोचिए फॉरेस्ट में वेन एनी एनिमल डाई इन द फॉरेस्ट नो बडी कम टू गेट रिमूव दैट एनिमल डेड एनिमल फ्रॉम द फॉरेस्ट सो हु क्लीन इट सो दीज एनिमल आर द एनवायरमेंटल क्लीनर ये फॉरेस्ट क्लीनर है एनवायरमेंट क्लीनर है बिकॉज दे गेट देयर फूड फ्रॉम द डेड बॉडी एंड इन दिस वे दे कैन गेट देयर फूड ऑल्सो एंड द डेड बॉडी इज रिमूव फ्रॉम देयर सो कम्प्लीटली डिकम्पोज हो जाते हैं एंड द फाइनली जो पार्ट बचते हैं दैट बिकम द पार्ट ऑफ द सॉइल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ह्यूमस येस सो डिकम्पोजर प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द नेचर विदाउट दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर प्लानिट वुड बी कवर्ड विद द डेड प्लांट्स एंड द एनिमल्स and the animals so they are they are called scavenger and the parasite now what is nectar and the honey i told you earlier that nectar is the sweet juice of flower honey bees collect the nectar the sweet juice of a flower and cut 
convert it into honey and store in their bee hives. Bee hive, जो मधुमक्खी के छत्ते होते हैं, that is the home of them. And bee hive को honey comb भी कहा जाता है. C O M B, honey comb. ठीक है. And flowers and their nectar may be available only flowers and their nectar may be available only a part of the year. You know, flower season में ही तो flower आएंगे. Twelve months तो flower आते नहीं हैं, whole year flower आते नहीं हैं. तो ये nectar सब करने का जो process है, only a in a particular time होता है, जो कि three to four months होता है. But when they convert it into into honey, it take a long time. So this and this honey is the food for the bee. Honey bee for the whole year. ये इस ये seasonal flower season में जितने भी three to four month में जो भी nectar ये सब करेंगे वही उसको honey में convert करेंगे and this is the food for the bees when honey bee for the whole year and even they prepare extra honey जितने उन्हें need है उससे कहीं ज़्यादा extra वो बनाते हैं so human being also can get honey from their bee hives so they store the nectar for their use throughout the year ये देखिए this is the honey comb मैंने कहा हन बी हाइव को हनी कॉम भी कह सकते हैं हनी कॉम इस तरह से आपको दिख रहे हैं स्मॉल स्मॉल चैम्बर्स दीज आर स्मॉल चैम्बर्स एंड इन दे आर हनी इज स्टोर्ड बाय द हनी बी एंड दिस इज कवर्ड बाय अ वैक्स लेयर दिस वैक्स इज मोर कॉस्टली देन द हनी एंड देर आर सो मैनी वेराइटी ऑफ हनी बी सो दे आर हनी इज ऑल्सो इन अ डिफरेंट वेराइटी so their rate is also decided by that. So what is the sprouted seed? The germinating seed in the initial state, when the white structure has grown out of the seeds that are called sprouted seed. जो मामा आपकी sprouted मूंग बनाती होगी, already pulses are rich in the, already pulses are rich in the protein. But when we soak it, it into the water. And we hang it into the muslin cloth or any cotton cloth for one day. The white strand you will see there that becomes germinate. These seeds now completely germinate, and these these seeds are main source of the protein. Now, in this protein the quantity पहले से कई ज़्यादा हो चुकी है. So these sprouts are very healthy for you in the breakfast time. आप इसको रो में भी खा सकते हैं और आप इसे लिटिल बिट स्टीम करके भी खा सकते हैं ओनली इन द वन टेबल स्पून स्पून और सो नाउ द फूड चेन फूड चेन इज द सीक्वेंस दैट शोन हाउ ईच लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म कैन इट स्पोर्ट्स इन अ पर्टिकुलर एंड वायर है यू नो वी ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इफ प्लांट प्लांट आर द मेन सोर्स ऑफ द फूड because they because only the green plant can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis so they provide food on the earth this is the main source and the herbivore they are directly depend on the plant source so they can only eat the plant products so this is the deer if one animal eat only single product that is called the food chain so deer eat tree product plant product and lion eat deer. यहाँ पे single एक chain दिखा रखी है कि deer can eat plant product and lion this is the carnivore that can hunt on the deer and that can eat. So this is one animal eat other animal and this is herbivore eat plant product. So this is a food chain. But in the nature there are so many varieties of food chain. So this chain is in the forest. We can find in the forest. If we go in the garden area, so flower is eaten by the flower juice is eaten by the flies or honeybee, you know. And these flies, butterflies, and any other fly, they depend on the nectar, sweet juice of the flower. Now frog can eat frog can eat flies, A snake can eat frog, and eagle can eat snake. So this is the food chain. You know food chain is only possible due to the three and four step generally. So here you have five steps. This is the most steps that you need because energy every step has energy loss. So for the final one, the energy will not be enough. They can eat the whole body of any other animal, but they can't get energy. So that is useless. So the food chain will be four or five steps mostly. Now if we go in the pond or the sea. 
they can eat the large fish so you can see that if one that is the food chain but when these food chain interrelated ye sari cheeze aapas mein mix ho jaye to ban jata hai food web in this way your chapter is completely finished and we will study about the exercise in the next video so thank you for watching this video there is one example of the food chain grass grass is a producer grass is eaten by the god that is the primary consumer or the herbivore primary first consumer to the tiger and the tiger is the second consumer that is the carnivore in this way the whole chapter is finished and you can read all the topics well thank you stay home stay safe